Hi guys, this is Michael and as promised I am going to show you how I render a video for that you guys can watch. So uh, first of all, let's start with what I use. I use the uh, Coral Video Studio Pro X4 Ultimate version. With the Ultimate version you get, I think it's in here, yeah, you get Boris FX which is basically a a uh, very good um, kind of tool for doing graphics. Um, I'm not very good at it at all, at all. So I, I hardly ever use it. But basically, that's what that's that's how you can tell it's the ultimate edition. And uh, this is basically how it looks, and this is what I use to do my videos. Now, the first video that I'm doing for my of the year two, you could say, because of course this is my um, anniversary today, you could say my birthday if you wish, and it's celebrating. This is my the end of my first year and the start of my second year of posting YouTube videos. And I'm going to do a Earth Babe one. Me and Earth Babe sat down and did a video, and I'm going to take you through how I get ready and how I render it and everything, and you can see what I do. So basically, this is what I have when I start, and I, this is called the library here. This is like preview window. This is your timeline. Now, when I... So, I, we put the Minecraft on. We go on the server. I put fraps on. Press F9. And we, we record. Now, when I stop recording, uh, it goes the all the sections. Because um, it, fraps does in sections. Let me lift this up. Fraps records in sections. This here is, by the way, the recording I'm doing right now. If you're looking at, if you're looking at that. But Fraps does things in sections, these sections, and each one can be a few gig big because the AVIs, they come out as AVIs, as you can see, they're all AVIs. And they come out as, you know, about, I think it's like 4 point something gig or 3 point something gig per section. So you can imagine how big that is on an hard drive. So what this is, I'm using actually an external hard drive, it's a 1 terabyte external hard drive. And it say the pieces automatically go onto that, so it's to keep stuff my prop, my normal hard drive on my, on my computer. So then, let's say I want to do a video, so I've got to find the sections. Now, if I look here at this part here, and I set it, start it up. It's going to start. Hi everyone, this is Earth Babe. So we know. I can stop that there. We know that's the start because that's Earth Babe saying hello. And then we look for the end, which I know is there. I just press on that one, hold down um, Shift, and light them all up, all four sections. And then I drag them into the library area here. They load up and they appear in here. There you go. Now, when they're in place, first thing I do, here's Earth Babe's new. Um, intro so I'll put that in the timeline See? So there's the intro that's it that's loaded then I bring in the four sections that I just again I just highlight them all drag them into the timeline and I, they are now all in so I can take stuff from here and just like go along Babe, and we're back for another. There you go. So now that's in place. There's the sections loaded up. And at the end, I go to titles. And in here, down here, look, in this one, we have the story continues. And now that adds that onto the end. Buddy. So there you go. So we'll just see, the, see that again. So you say goodbye. For now, you take really good care of yourselves. And goodbye for now, my friends. Bye, everybody. And there we go. So now the video is set up. Now, that is basically what I do to do it. I mean, it can be a little bit more in-depth. I can put a lot. I can put effects onto it, which are transitions. Which are all these where I can make it transition from one thing to another. I can, uh, of course, put titles in so I can pick 
any style I could pick that and make it burst up onto the screen or you know some of these you'll notice you know, when you're looking at my um, what you call into my intro into my channel intro you see it's a Skyrim one and you'll notice that on my welcome to my channel intro that goes on that I'll quickly show you how that looked in a second when it was done but basically that's how it looks to render to render this up now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set this up for rendering and then I'll show you the finished product when it's done so I'll be right back let's create a video file see you in a minute okay and that's it it's rendered up and when it finishes rendering I get a, another preview of what, it finished, what the finished product looks like So basically, then it comes up and shows me uh, what, I, what the finished product is. And uh, now, all it needs doing is uh, putting onto YouTube, posting. So basically, you've just seen me re re uh, render my the me teaching Earth Bay Minecraft video. And now I've got to go and render this video of me rendering a video. <laughs> so uh, there you go. I hope you found this informative or fun or whatever I mean I hope it answered those that wanted to see it I hope it answered your questions on what I do and how I do it you know usually actually everything's all in here you know and I just basically drag and put things in the right places and type things at the right time and move things along in the timelines in the right way and you know basically it makes a film it makes the movie up for you guys and this is how I do it and this is what I use so uh, I'm gonna go and get this rendered as well so I can get this posted so for now, guys, you take really good care of yourselves, and goodbye for now, my friends.